For thousands of years, the human race has populated Westeros, living off the land and often warring for control of resources. Yet there was a time, now known as the Dawn Age, before the first men migrated into the continent, when other sentient creatures had dominion over the territory. There was the giant race, a large and physically powerful humanoid species said to grow between 10 and 12 feet tall. They were covered in a shaggy pelt of fur and rode mammoths to travel. In battle, most wielded primitive clubs and spoke a language now known as the Old Tongue. Then there were the Children of the Forest, a mysterious and magical people said to be small in stature, dark and beautiful. Some say they could hear things no man could hear and see what no man could see. A Stone Age culture, they lived in caves and crannogs, even creating hidden villages in the forests. Throughout the continent, they carved faces into the weirwood trees, coming to worship them as the old gods, believing that when they died, their spirits would live on in the trees, keeping watch over the forests. Also known as those who sing the song of the earth, it is believed the children made music so beautiful it brought a tear to any who listened. Many of the children possessed strange and powerful magic such as the ability to skin change, sending their consciousness into the body of an animal. There was also the green sight, which granted them prophetic dreams, with some even able to speak to the dead. For many years, the giants and the children of the forest lived together in these lands, with no indications of hostility between the species. However, 12,000 years before Aegon's conquest, humanity began their migration west. The first men as they came to be known were a Bronze Age people led by the first king who crossed into Westeros through the Arm of Dorne, a land bridge connecting the continent to Essos, the lands beyond the Narrow Sea. The first men brought new technologies and cultural practices, introducing metal, horses, and pagan gods. As they settled the land, they burned the sacred weirwood trees and cut down the forests to build their homes. The children, threatened by what they saw as a hostile invasion, fought a desperate campaign to defend their homes. But their obsidian weapons and magic were not enough. The first men were numerous, physically larger and more powerful, with better weaponry and armor, able to beat back the native population. Fearing that they might lose everything they once had, the children used their magic to break the Arm of Dorne, shattering the land bridge to Essos, creating the islands now known as the Stepstones, and halting the continued migration of men into the continent. Yet even this victory was not enough to turn the tide in their favor, and the war continued on, growing more violent and aggressive. As the children of the forest were pushed further north, legends claim they once again attempted to break the land, calling upon the gods to send the hammers of the waters to shatter the neck of the continent and split the landmass in two. But they failed in their mission and merely flooded the territory, creating the swamps and marshes seen today. Eventually, the first men met with the children on the Isle of Faces, reaching a peace agreement known as the Pact, which gave the native race dominion over the deep woods, while the first men took the open lands and promised to cease their burning of the weirwood trees, with many even coming to adopt the worship of the old gods. After 2,000 years, Westeros was at peace. However, the years of violence and conflict took a serious toll on the children of the forest, whose population was severely reduced, beginning their descent into near extinction. By 300 AC, only a handful still survived. The giant race also suffered greatly from the arrival of humans, with free folk legends claiming they were once quite numerous, but were hunted by men and driven into the far north, with their numbers dwindling over the years, and only a small number surviving into later ages. Although many of the details are now only remembered through legends and myth, some have recently come to suggest that the invasion of the Others, also known as the White Walkers, into the lands of Westeros during the Long Night may have its origins in the Dawn Age, when the Children of the Forest might have created the creatures, possibly using dragonglass in a magical ritual to transform humans into this new race, hoping to use them as weapons of war against their First Men enemies. However, the Others would not accept subjugation, turning against their creators and eventually threatening to destroy both the children and humans of the continent. A special thanks to all those who have contributed to Civilization X. You make these videos possible, and I am eternally grateful for your support. If you would like to help Civilization X and want to say in the future content of this channel, click on the Patreon link in the description box below and pledge any amount you'd like on a monthly basis. Or if you'd prefer to make a single donation, you can use the PayPal link also in the description below. And please be sure to like and subscribe and click on the links to see more.